HP drivers from HP website itself so for you to do that maybe you have any issues with your driver maybe your brightness is not increasing or the chipset is not driven or every other things like that it's not making your hardware compatible with your software uh, this is what you are going to do this is actually for only HP laptops for Dell another laptop will be coming soon don't worry about that but let's go into the hp part now so if you want to download driver from hp website just go to any browser of yours once you go to any browser of yours once you go to any browser of yours just type hp support support enter So once that is done, it's going to bring you to a page like this. Just go to contact HP support website, HP customer support. So click on it. So once that is done, it's going to bring you to a page like this. So uh, how do you now go about this? So just select, there's a page here, enter your serial number, product number or product name. That means if you want to download any software drivers for your computer you have to know the name of your laptop you just input it here and submit it or the serial number the name is actually common but for us to get the serial number of any laptop uh, let's go to the cmd command prompt so once you open command prompt you can type it in the search bar to open command prompt then you can get your serial number by typing this wmic I use get serial number. You actually type it, that's how you're going to type it, and you press enter. So once you press enter, it's going to bring the serial number of your laptop. I'm doing that for security reasons. So that's what you're going to do for your laptop. It's going to list out the serial numbers here. So then you copy the serial number here. Once that is done, you copy the serial number, bring it out here, you paste it here, and you click submit. It is going to go. But the, let me put the kind of name of uh, the laptop I'm using now. That is HP 840G2. Like the 840G2. Yeah, it is actually bringing it for me. So that's the laptop I'm using now to do this video. So once I enter the name of the laptop here, yeah, it's going to bring everything I need for me concerning that laptop. So it's telling me troubleshooting if I, want to, if I have any problem with it i can actually type it here and it's going to give me feedback software and drivers and firmware and stuff like that now let me take you through the software drivers and firmware so that's where we are going exactly so once we get to this page now it's telling us two step two simple steps to show what driver are available for your product now it's telling me uh what os operating system do you have okay let me just choose windows 10 although i'm using windows 11 so let me just choose windows 10 because there's no option for windows 11 uh for this system on the hp website they don't they don't expect the system to be using the windows 11 but me i'm using it so let's click the second the version so let me just click this for the sake of this video so you click the kind of os you are using for your laptop and once that is done you click on submit So once you click on submit, it's going to bring the drivers that you need for the particular uh, tax you need it for. So click on the plus sign here, all drivers. So it's going to list all the drivers available that you guys that are going to be needing for your system for you. Uh, so as you can see, BIOS, if your BIOS is misbehaving or something like that, you can just download it here. Uh, it's going to download the BIOS stuff for you. Just click on the download button and it can actually 
uh, fix your system BIOS for you if your system is having BIOS issue. So I don't recommend you downloading this BIOS anyhow because it can actually affect your system if you don't know your way around it. You can give it to an expert in computer repair, the computer technician that can actually help you to fix it. So that one is advisable. So after the BIOS, the next thing you see is diagnostic, which is hardware, HP hardware diagnostic. Like if you have any problem and you want to know, uh, testing an hardware component to help identify potential hardware issues, as you can see, as it is written here. So that's the work of uh, diagnostic. So the next one is um, docks, firmware, and driver. So this one is just for your USB travel docker drive, dock drive, and 3.0 port replicator stuff like that. So once you do this and you're having issues with it, it's going to fix it. Now the next one is the audio. If you're having issues with your audio, uh, Realtek audio driver, HP audio, uh, HD audio driver, Realtek HD audio driver. We have two. One is uh, August 17, 2015, and the other one is up, uh, upgraded in what's it called? The version, upgraded version of it is on. May 13, 2022. So you can download which one for your if your and this is how you know that your what's it called is not working. Your your speaker. You see, there won't be any sign. You just bring cancel sign here. So you can just do this downloading the driver here and try to fix it if it is actually a software problem and not an hardware problem. So that's what you are going to do about it. So the next thing is driver chipset. I don't recommend you to try, download any of this driver chipset on your own, except it, except it is actually recommended by a technician also, and they are going to help you to do that once you tell them what the problem of your laptop is. So the next one is uh, graphics driver. This system is having a one gig dedicated graphics. So uh, for the Intel control, video control and control panel, and the AMD driver and control panel. So this another video, uh, another uh drivers for all those things so once i download it i can actually run it my laptop is fully driven so if your keyboard hp universal camera wireless button synaptic fingerprint sensor and synaptic mouse driver so any issues they have you just start searching all these things one after the other like hey, this one too is a driver network and kind of wireless card i'm using so the kind of all issues i might be having with my wireless card basically on software once I download the software and I know it's actually a software issue, I, I'm not telling you in this video to go and download any, so, uh, any what's it called, and you should be using it. Here you get. I don't, I don't want you to just go and download any software or drivers. Here you get and start using it. Except it's actually recommended, or you really need it. I hope this video is more explanatory for you to use. So, driver storage. If you're having issues with your this system can actually use SSD and HGT, HGT. So if I'm having issues with any of it being compatible with the system, and I know it's an, actually a software issue, this video will help me to, once you watch this video, it will simplify everything for you. So the next one is the firmware. So the firmware for dock station. Docking station is the kind of external battery you put aside the one inside the system at the back of your system. It's, it's always come in different version like it's an external hardware that you attach to your system at the back kind of so that's docking station you can browse more about it and more about firmware so any uh software you are going to be downloading or stuff like that you can just browse about it first like what's the meaning like firmware now you can just browse about okay what's the meaning of firmware because it's, it might bring be a uh, big english for someone so some people might not know the meaning of firmware so your search on google what's the meaning of firmware then you know hey, maybe it's related to your problem so they said let's click let's on firmware wikipedia so in computing firmware is a specific class of computer software that provide the low level control for device specific hardware firmware such as bios of a personal computer so this firmware is actually dealing with the bios that means the the face you first of all see before your system loads to windows or any other uh operating system maybe ubuntu or so so that's the uh mini of firmware i hope you get that so don't just download any software and start running on your computer you must make sure you are downloading the right software and you make use of it so the next thing is um 
HP client download the page format is HP manage products that one is another one so operating system enhancement is a general system update for Microsoft Windows 10 uh, all these windows update and so on and so forth this one too is also for it and software this one is another one too software media and this one is another one too and um, software solution this is another one too for uh, all these hot keys if the hot keys of your computer is not working you can actually download this all these f1 f2 and all those hot keys and if it is not working you can actually use this to to fix that so this uh tutorial on how to download from hp website it works for all hp laptops it works for all hp laptops so you can use this to fix any software related problem that you are having and you need to download all this software maybe you just reload an operating system you need your hardware to be compatible with your software so you need all these drivers not all recently yeah but most of these drivers especially the audio the graphics and the video uh, driver so you need them for to install on your laptop for them to be able to be compatible with it so some system or some technician use sdi and other driver pack to do this kind of thing so there's another way you can actually do this kind of thing also on your system and that is by updating it through the windows update through the windows update so and how you can you do that using windows update to do that you just go to settings on your pc once you click on settings go to windows update as you can see i paused my windows update for some reason so if you click on uh you can see resume update here or you can actually click on update so once you update everything on your computer the computer should be working fine but not all the time is all these uh did it used to work perfectly like sometimes your system might update what you don't really need the system to update on your computer and thereby affecting some of your parts performance of your your pc so it's recommend you choose out of the software or out of those things you can actually uh make sure you update so that your computer will work perfectly so once you do the update here it's going to online everything will be online and it's going to work perfectly so aside that you can actually actually do uh the same thing to here another thing here and actually go about it the same thing too you can do it by clicking on your file explorer once you click on your file explorer you right click on your pc once you right click on your pc just go to show more options just go to manage so once you go to manage it's going to bring you to a page like this so this place you can actually you can actually do the uh update also here drivers manager so these are all the uh hardware that is attached to this computer and how i can actually you can see audio input so if there's no driver for all this thing on your computer you see question mark on some of them you get so you actually right click on them if you want to up update any one of them just right click on them update driver or if you want to uninstall any driver you can actually do that also here so biometrics bluetooth for so now you can see that all the bluetooth is installed and other softwares all the software is perfectly intact that's why you can see that there is no question mark in any of the software that means this computer is actually working fine so if you have any issues with seeing any question mark here or you are seeing something like unknown device just right click on any one of them so once you right click on any one of them just click on update driver so it is going to update it but this doesn't work most time it will say the windows uh the driver for this particular stuff is not uh is not cannot be found online it can actually ring something like that then you have to go to windows update to update the old windows but when you update the old windows this should fix it and i hope you enjoy this video and so this is all about are uh, you having issues with your pc concerning maybe just reload an operating system and you need some applications and you make you want it to reduce the brightness and make it work perfect and make your hardware to be compatible with your software so there might be a time actually that maybe uh during the update of your system it actually cause a to your system sure you get and you won't be able to 
do some actually certain things like maybe your window is ringing pca uh, windows error or blue screen or kind of stuff like that but you, you don't know the reason one of the reasons can be your windows updating updating itself without your permission and you don't even authorize the system to start updating so if you want to stop all these updates permanently this is what you are going to do just go to uh, your search menu type gp delete dot msc so it's going to bring something down here which is edit group policy just click on edit group policy once you click on edit group policy go to administrative template here once you go to administrative template go to windows component go to windows component once you go to windows component go to windows update down so once you go to windows update you see uh, manage and end, manage end and user experience click on it this is actually for windows 11 and if it is windows 10 you won't go this far before you actually see this so just click on this so once you click on this you will see not configured enable disabled so i have actually disabled mine so if i want to do any of it i would want to choose myself not the computer running itself to update all the software. there's another way you can actually do this also by going to your file explorer so once you go to your file explorer you right click on your file explorer go to manage so once you go to manage you go to service and applications you go to service so after going to service and application you click on service again then you scroll down to where you see windows update you click on windows update you see you stop it here once you stop it you click on manual or disabled or stuff like that so once you click on it you go to recovery take no action you put all this on it take no action and you can't fail I will reset fail count after you put the zero there you click on apply and you click on ok so that is done so whenever you want to update your system you really want to go and choose when to update in your settings and you actually choose it yourself how if you want to pause it or every other things like that so to make your system uh to be regulated and not downloading software or updating the software on your computer that you yourself you don't need or you know sometimes after updating the software you yourself you know that the software is actually 100 percent downloaded here you get so sometimes it can be 50 or any amount of percentage and you you just close your laptop thereby is affecting your laptop because you don't know that your system is actually updating at the background so this video we happy to skill through others thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you so much